How's it going guys? It's XMarkGX, aka Eternal Darkness on Xbox Live. And I'm here today to review the game Oblivion for the Xbox 360. Hope you guys enjoy it. Ah, Oblivion. Even with this game reaching past its third year since it was released. It's still a great and in my opinion, one of the best RPGs out there. Now let's start this review with one of my favorite topics for RPGs, character creation. In Oblivion, character creation is very well done when it comes to choices. You can pretty much change every single little detail about your preferred character. There are many different races to choose from, anywhere from human to lion. Well anyway, your race can and will affect how your character turns out in the sense of battle. For example, a red guard is more fitted to be a warrior than a high elf. Another factor is your birth sign, which are all unique and offer different advantages and abilities. Some give you special spells and some boost up certain skills. Another thing to talk about is your class, which is the most important thing in character creation because it affects how you level up and advance in the game. And from what you like to do in most in RPGs, make a character fitted to your liking. Now it's time to talk about the Oblivion story. The story in Oblivion is excellent. You start off in jail for some unknown reason, and you come across the high and mighty Emperor of Cyrodiil trying to get away from assassins. It turns out you're in his visions, and he trusts you with the beloved Amulet of Kings, a sacred amulet that's been passed down from emperor to emperor. You need to go to a son that hasn't been assassinated, and close shut the jaws of oblivion. The emperor gets assassinated soon after that, and you're off to find a priest who knows where the new emperor is. After you save him and take him to safety, you need to get special items to retrieve back the stolen Amulet of Kings. You get reinforcements from each of the cities to help you along the way, and you end up being successful in your epic quest to save Cyrodiil. Now to talk about the Oblivion gameplay. The combat system is fairly simple. Press X to draw out your weapon, left trigger to block, and right trigger to attack. Oblivion has a lot to offer when it comes to gameplay, like for instance the side quests in the game. For example, when someone wants you to go get a ring from someone else, you can basically A. Talk and try to persuade him into giving it to you. B. Get real sneaky and pickpocket it from him. C. Get all aggressive and kill him, then loot it from his lifeless corpse. Or D. None of the above, get creative and find another way. Oblivion has so much gameplay and so much to explore considering how big the map is, you can possibly play this game for 200 hours and not be done with it. Honestly, it's that big of a game. I myself currently have 173 hours of gameplay and still have stuff to do in the game. There are many guilds and ranks you can join, and with each one a unique questline. Oblivion Gates, the main source of enemies in this game, are very cool and exciting. The gates open all over Cyrodiil, and when you enter one, the portal takes you to a unique plane of Oblivion. Each Oblivion Gates carries its source of power, a sigil stone, which has various enchantments you can attach to your weapons and armor. Graphics Considering how old this game is, I can honestly say that at the time this game was released, graphics could not have been better. Graphics in this game go into great detail, especially in players and in the environment, not to mention the detail and effects in the weather, and especially in Oblivion Gates. The enemies are well designed and are all unique in looks. The architecture and buildings are phenomenal, and overall this is just one good looking game. Okay, now it's time to talk about sound in the game. Sound in this game is very good when it comes to combat, but when it comes to music, it can get repetitive at times, but at least the music isn't bad. The music changes when you enter battle, and when not in combat, songs switch from time to time. Voice acting in this game is great for the most part, a little bugs here and there, but overall, it's pretty good. Okay, next up is downloadable content. There is so much downloadable content in this game since what, the game's been out for three years? And honestly, it can give you 100 plus hours of gameplay if done right. The downloadable content can range anywhere from giving your horse armor to downloading a 7 hour dungeon. The main thing that you should download, and it's my personal favorite, is the Shivering Isles. This exotic wasteland contains a crazy world and an amusing questline. You choose your path, either the path of mania or madness, and make your way to Lord Shea Gorath, an insane man with a line of duty for you. You have to save his realm from the mighty Jigalag, a demon with great power. You do some crazy and disturbing stuff along the way, and end up ruling the insane world known as the Shivering Isles. Okay, now I'm going to talk about something I'm not really fond of, the problems in the game. 
With every great game, there's always some problems. Oblivion doesn't have many, but the few can get annoying. One bug in Oblivion is sometimes when you talk to someone, their voice speaks but their mouth did not move. Another bug is sometimes when running or riding your horse, you can get stuck in a rock or boulder. Oblivion has some glitches, like duplicating items, wearing more than two rings, etc. But none of that will happen to you for no reason, so don't worry. Alright, now to talk about my Oblivion personal favorites. I'll start with my favorite one, the Skeleton Key. The Skeleton Key is an unbreakable lockpick you get from the Daedric Shrine Quest. This is very helpful considering you can basically pick any lock in the game. Alright, now to talk about my favorite and the best armor in the game. The best armor in the game is located in the Shivering Isles, which you get from a smith. It's called Perfect Madness Armor. It has great defense and looks pretty cool. Another set of armor I'm really fond of is the Blackwood Armor. Not because it's good, but because it looks awesome. Honestly, this is the best looking armor in the game, and it's not that hard to get. You get it from questing in the Fighters Guild. During one of the quests, you find a dead Blackwood Company soldier, and you loot him to get the full set of Blackwood, which is such an awesome looking armor set. My favorite headpiece in the game has got to be the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal, which you get from completing the Thieves Guild questline. Um, this cowl is not only good for its looks, it's also good for its attributes. It gives you 200 points of feather, fortify sneak 25 points, and detects life 120 points. This cowl is great for dungeons because you can see enemies and hold more loot. My favorite guild in the game has got to be the Dark Brotherhood, which is an assassination guild. This guild is fun, exciting, and has an awesome quest line. This guild has an exciting twist along the way, which I think you guys will find quite amusing, but I won't spoil for you. My favorite sword, Goldbrand, you also get from a Daedric Shrine quest. Not only does it look cool, a golden katana, but it also has a lot of damage and has an enchantment that does 22 fire points of damage on strike. Something that you might need during your questing, and is my personal favorite alchemy ingredient, is the Mandrake Root. The Mandrake Root will protect you from getting bitten by vampires while you're sleeping, which can happen in the game. All you have to do is eat the Mandrake Root before you go to sleep, and then you're protected. It's that easy, and you will need it. My favorite dungeon in the game is downloadable, Maroon's Razor. This dungeon is very long and exciting, and has a great quest line. It's my favorite because in the jail, there's an assassin that if you kill him, he drops a unique set of armor called the Meringue Tong set. This armor is very good, and in my opinion, the best light armor in the game. Alright, now it's time for the final rating. Overall, Oblivion is a great game. We have great character creation, outstanding story, amazing gameplay, awesome graphics, good sound, excellent downloadable content, and minor problems. This is a game that has done me well, and is still my favorite game up to date. Considering it was 3 years old, I'm giving this game a 9.5 out of 10. Well, that's all for my Oblivion review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, I'll be making a lot of videos soon. Well, that's it for now, and until next time guys.